and action. Take two. Hi, everyone. It's SOD Medhaven here today. And and by take two, it's like, I, I, I did something stupid. And I was like, uh, I can fix this. I'm going to fix it. There's no point to show you guys screenshots whenever they're all the way down here at the bottom. Okay. A tank you don't see inside the queue is often. The object 263. I had to look at the name. I completely forgot it. it went over my head. Um, 8,000 damage dealt. 1,527 assistant, 1,500 block. Keep in mind, I was really close the entire time. Uh, one thing that I don't like, though, performance report. It doesn't tell me my distance traveled. That's depressing. I wanted to know how far I went, where I went, and why I went. And then I come here, oh my goodness, wow, 10,000 combined. Um, sadly, I wasn't recording any of these, and I was really sad. Damage due to spotting. I was aggressive. I got up in there. I have a mark on this. Oh, I got my first mark after that match. Learn something new every single day. Oops. Well, today is is going to be a day that I'm... I, I was at work, and I thought about it, by the way, the Valkyrie. Nice. Nice. Yes. It, it, today's going to be using the Valkyrie because I think she's going to fit this perfectly because Valkyries don't back down no matter the task. So... Let's jump into this. Let's start building ourselves a 263 that probably should have not ever been built to begin with because um, I'm going to be making a lot of sacrifices and completely changing how I play the tank. Ah, oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, starting off. Equipment wise, I, I kind of feel like a loader and camouflage net might be okay. We might drop the camouflage net though and go after a traction system. Let's increase that haul, 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 haul traverse speed. I don't care much for the top speed. Ooh, advanced repair system, originally a toolbox. So 10% the chassis rotation and 10%, 10% top speed, 10, top, 10 top, okay, top speed. Ammunition wise, yeah, this is fine. Uh, 550 alpha, if we can pin all 14 standards, it's gonna be a good game. High explosives, always carry them. I don't care what you're in. You always take HE. Uh, that's right. We got to do the commander now. Okay. Born leader was buffed. We're going to take born leader. Rapid loading. That's a must have. Accuracy for the gun. I'm not going to worry about it. What I am going to worry about though is off-road driving. Clutch braking. Uh, camouflage expertise. We did take away the camouflage net, so it's not needed. General mechanic. One of the skills that I have never recommended to take. But on a build like this, I kind of think, since we're going to be focusing on as much repair time as we can to be able to get up and get moving again, that might be the best bet. Now, the object two, uh, 263 is not known to be ammo racked often. Um, you know what? We're going to be playing aggressive. We're going to be getting close. Controlled impact. Uh, supply conversion. I, I don't know how I feel about supply conversion. It's a premium perk for, for real. Like, it only works with premium consumables, and I think it's wrong. Um, Gunsmith, not going to worry about the accuracy, because we're going to be trying to face hug as many people as we can. Iron Mace, uh, distance, that's not going to matter. We're going to be face hugging, or getting in as close as we can, no matter the task. We are here to move, move, move. You know what? We're sacrificing view range. Situational awareness. Okay, that looks good to me. And just to put the icing on top, let's go ahead and just take a two-time silver bonus. I have a lot of this built up. So, 263. You guys probably already have an idea where this is going, just based upon what I threw on this. And if you don't, well, this is all live. And I'm either going to have a really bad experience and sit here for 20 minutes waiting for the match to get out, or... I'm going to manage to pull off another 8k game or 7k game inside this thing. Just have one, like, just have a time with it. Speaking of which, having a time. That Clock, he's another streamer. I support his content along with Scareface and a couple of other guys. They're fantastic. Honestly, this entire community is cool. Um, you guys can probably tell I'm cracked out. I don't know why. I'm hungry. I got home. I took a shower. Fresh and clean. Hair is all nice and wet. You know what? Screw it. Let's get into this. Let's just full send it. We're going to be fine. Where'd she go? Okay. 
I didn't catch that, did I? No, I didn't because I'm a Muppet. Arctic region. All right, let's uh, let's see how we're gonna do this. I gotta throw some stuff. It's a box. Okay. Arctic region, and there's an artillery enemy team. It's a bat chat. I don't want to deal with the bat chat. So you know what? Let's let's take on that right side. Let's just full send it. I mean, what what else are we gonna do inside this thing? Not full send it. I mean, we're focusing out repair time. Um. By the way, armor angling and any damage resistance, it, it, it's its pointless. We're, we're playing with RNG here. They're going to high roll it, they're going to high roll, they're going to low roll it, they're going to low roll A 10% difference is not going to make that much of a difference. Yeah, especially at the high roll for 500. And then what, you lose 50 extra damage on yourself? I mean, sure, maybe it gets you down to a one shot, but the chances of that happening with multiple different alpha types, it, it just doesn't make sense. Wow, this thing's moving 55. Okay. Our goal is to get in close. We got a mark on it. Slap happy? Okay. Um. Alright, slap happy. Looks like I'm going to be relying on you. My view range is a little bit low. As I say that, I spot out a VK without being detected. Probably because of the trees that are perfectly lined up in the way. Let's go ahead and do a drop down and then pull up here to the right. What am I spotted by? Right there. Super con. Should we go face to face? Just full send it. Yeah, let's full send it. Hit those tracks, go for the ram. And I just. Okay, on standard reaction, I hit that repair kit without even thinking about it. Uh, we can go through the gun missile, right? Yeah, with standard rounds too. Okay. And a super conk knocked out immediately. We got a 360 damage ram in exchange for 115 hit points. I'm okay with that. That is a Yagru. I am not okay with that. Uh oh. I mean, you know what? We were talking. That's a bar. Oh my gosh. Bar and Yagru. I don't know how much more uncomfortable I can be about this, because this is, uh... I'm going to go front brawling. Yagru in a bar. It's a fast way to get knocked out. Good bounce. Yagru's in reload. Let's go after the bar. Bar just fired. we got to get there quick. Eight second reload. Okay, got to get there quick. i got to guarantee these damages, and there's one big downfall. That's not good. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Boy, I just got baited. You cannot aim. <laughs> okay, um, so far off to a really good start. I gotta say, the 263, you don't see it in the queue often. And it's really sad that you don't. The tank is absolutely amazing. If you play it correctly, it is one of the most devastating tanks. Not to mention, they buff the amount that you can look left and right inside of it. They, I mean, being able to look left and right, it makes a big difference. Okay. Now, I wonder... Ah, never mind. I don't wonder. How are you? I will load premium, because I don't want to put up with that angle. Or that Progetto. So, let's put a big boy round in the hem. Let's go ahead and start backing off. Progetto does not look super happy right now. Already up to 4,251 damage. Nice. Progetto clipped out. Let's put our shell in. There's two Yagaroos! I... Do I trust this? Uh, a little bit. Okay. I trust my armor fully. Unless they decide to start loading heat... If they load heat, I believe I should be in a lot of trouble. But maybe let's see if we can jabait him. Never mind. He got um. Oh my gosh, dude! You guys, seriously, look at the armor of this. Not to mention the um anti RNG you have against uh, artillery. You just can't seem to hit us. So two six three. 
it gonna gets gonna it's gonna put big boy shells in people all day every day this thing is absolutely disgusting however your side armor is a little bit lower so you're 250 in the front it's nice but you do run into a couple of problems nothing that it can't handle though we're gonna give this four more seconds two one and we're gonna try to free fire then we're gonna back off so it's behind us that VK stuff. Let's go ahead and load back into the AP shells here. We still got 650 hit points to use as we see fit. I mean, we can. We're technically a two shot to anything right now, depending on their alpha. Uh, T55A, yeah, we're maybe a two shot. That might be a three if we see him. But this VK, if he pins us, we're definitely a two shot. And again, we are a tier 10. He is a tier 8. Into the hatch. That's a good snap. What do we got? 268 version 5. Let's trust our armor. Sadly, it wasn't able to use any of my repair time. We weren't able to use the Traxxas run, so we might have to put a second game into this. That is a snapshot I was not expecting to land, but that's okay. Let's go back off, throw a shell down. That's another snap that I wasn't expecting to land. Um, is this gonna be my first 10k and I'm recording it live? I wonder. I truly do. I don't trust it as you. No, ah, uh, do I wanna wait? Do I, do I wanna wait? It's a 6 on 6 right now. 387. He's going bye bye. Um. Do I take the guess round? Why not? It's the worst that can happen. I miss. Ooh, Brigetto. Last three alive. I'm kind of wondering if the Brigetto is still full health. Because I, I doubt that I can even achieve. Look at that repair time. I'm so happy that um, I, I used my repair kit at the very beginning. And then waited. And that one sucked. Hi, Progetto. We're going to pop that repair kit. Do a snapshot. Uh, it's a good thing the snapshot did not hit. Yeah, there's not enough hit points to be able to do what I want to do. So, sadly, um, it was a good run, but it was not the best run. Uh, I mean, you know what? I can't say anything because I've ricocheted 5,550 and I've dealt 8,308 damage. So... Yeah, I'm not going to complain about this. This was good. And actually, I'm really surprised. The build's really reactive. Because using all the clutch breaking, I got to use that um, extra ability to just stop and make a hardcore turn immediately. All right, I hate how they do the uh, refresh each time you open that the first time. So yeah, no, that that's a, that's a good game. That is an amazing game for the 263. That is absolutely amazing. And Valkyrie, right up in the front. Get to show off some uh, MVP. 263. Look at me. I'm in a 263. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. We put the two times silver bonus on this. 124,000 silver made. 8,000 experience. That's a lot of XP. What was the... Uh, okay, base XP was uh, 1,665. Is this an ace? That is an ace. That is lovely to see. Okay. We're, we're going to put another in it. I mean, if the, if the next one goes bad, it goes bad. If it goes good, it's good. I just really want to use this repair time and catch somebody off guard by how fast I get popped back up. I'm on a nom, -a -nom. Yes. It... That's going to stick. That's nom, -a -nom Okay? It, this map is called nom, -a -nom, -a nom Toto, if you're watching this, please help me in the comments. I'm already screwed. All right, back to getting on track. What are we up against? G oh, it's a full 10 lobby. And it's standard on Nominominom. I don't ask how we got that name. Um, it's the same reason why each time I play the Grill 15 and I'm playing with my friends, I yell up banana every single time I fire. Don't ask questions. Don't ask why. I don't have a reply. 
So that's where I'm gonna go with it. Um, you know what? I I really don't know where I want to go. Like the ridge on the right side, playing aggressive is kind of the goal. So you think the ridge would be a good place? Head up to F9. I think yeah, I think F9 would be okay. F9 should be fine. Should be fine. Let's get in. No, no. Look at the team. No. We're gonna pull an inside flank instead of F9. We're gonna go F6 and work our way to uh, E7. We're gonna play aggressive right there. That way we are below the ridge. That sounds like a way better play. Way better play. There we go. Plus we're playing solo. I got a fire extinguisher. Um. Inside. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of which, I think the next tank I might do this for is going to be the Kronenwagen. That new skin, I actually enjoy it. Is that a bot? That is a bot. It's a bot. And I missed a bot. And see, the bots don't miss. The bots never miss. They are, and look at him, he's coming at me in reverse. Uh... What's behind me? That's another bot. Bots don't have crews, but they do have crews. They're confusing. Bot behind me. See, and bots, the, the reason why bots are so scary is because they don't have any strategy. It, it's literally just full send every single time. So aggressive plays like this never work because bots don't work. Bots are just complete randomized chaos. That's all they are. And somehow that randomized chaos works. And I don't know why it works, but bots are obnoxious in so many ways. Happy that we got that new See what I mean? They're complete random chaos. They have no strategy. And then artillery hits you. Alright. Bots. Complete random chaos. You know, I probably could have ended it like right after that AK game and just said, hey, I'm good. But no. Bots, dude. Bots are the most broken thing. Okay, it, you'll be surprised about this. Um, I, I did a couple of tests super late night one night, and I, I found out that bots know how many teammates you have in that area, even if they're not even spotted. I did this with a platoon of three, and if, if both platoon mates were aiming towards me, the bot never pulled. But the second I fired, and if my platoons were looking the other direction, the bot pulled, sat in front of me, and fired. They are complete cheaters all the time. And the way that they strategize, there is no strategy. So like plays like that where you want to get aggressive, bots don't act like real players. They act like they know every single position on the map and they will catch out single people all the time. And I hate bots inside the matchmaker. I would rather wait three minutes for a good game full of people then wait 20 seconds and get thrown in an immediate match where there's seven people per team and the rest of the list is all bots. That is the worst. I hate playing at night because of this. Um, you guys, 263 is a beast. Speaking of which, I actually got to double check something. Oh, I went way too far down. That's right. With that other matches. Oh my gosh. There we go. Scoreboard. That's a lot of players. Okay. And versing players, I was able to coordinate with myself. But against bots, I can't. They are uh, randomized chaos. That's all they are. You guys. Bots. Sorry. This is like monologue about bots. They suck. I hate them. I mentioned it in my 60 TP video and everything else. They suck. But, hey, you know what? Good match. Good games. That was fantastic. I was not expecting that, but you know what? The, the 263. This tank, in my opinion, is one of the top performers for tier 10s. Yet, I never see it. I don't play it too often, but I never see it inside the queue. Why is that? Is it because of the meta? What meta? I just completely destroyed my build on this. You guys watched. And I built something completely different and pulled it out and gave it a match. And, um, I mean, I'm sad I didn't get to use my repair time, which I really wanted to. But, that's it. 263. If you guys haven't gotten this tank yet, it is a gem of TDs. 
It's got mobility, it's got a great gun, fast reload, it's got armor, and it's aggressive. It's a brawling TD that has the speed to handle it. You bump up that repair time, people don't expect it, you get in their face, it's a great day for you, bad day for them. They tend to hurt a little bit. So, you guys, other than that, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and that match just came out. Nom nom, it was a defeat. Uh, bots and randomized chaos. That's all they are. Completely randomized chaos. You know, that might actually be the title of the video. Randomized chaos. Originally, it was going to be like, the real monster of Halloween. Because, I mean, this thing is... It, it's a legitimate monster. But no, just randomized chaos. Uh, 263 randomized chaos. Yeah, that's, that's it. You guys, I'm out. Have fun. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I plan on doing this a little bit more. A little bit. Just random builds and throwing stuff together and playing live. No matter how the matches turn out, put it up. Next one should be the Kronenwagen. I might do that tomorrow. Fingers crossed that I have time to do it. I probably will, but if the matches turn out bad, I might not post it. Just kidding. It'll go. Have a good night, you guys. Day, afternoon, whatever time it is for you at the moment. I'm going to be eating my old gristmill sandwich here in a second. Catch you guys in the next one.